All right, so what we're looking at now is the, um, the experiment we're going to be doing as the prequel to our assignment. So it's important to understand and you do this experiment because you need, as we go forward, the, the structure of the science report is going to change a little bit. No longer do you create your own um, experiment. We give you an experiment and then you need to modify it to create results. And this is the experiment you'll be being given. Obviously, it's a little bit challenging uh, as we're doing this by distance ed, but you can get the crux of the idea through here and hopefully when you go home it should be pretty easy to set this sort of thing up but I'll talk to you a little bit about what, we, what we're trying to do. So essentially what we're trying to, what we are trying to do is our makeup experiments, not the one that you'll be doing, but a makeup experiment. If this is like your mouse eraser, I don't want to use the old one because the old one might break down when I put some mass on it. With that we're going to pell our mouse eraser, not with our mouse eraser, okay, but instead with a balloon. Okay, now we are going to, and there's, there's issues with that. I've intentionally done this because I want the mouse eraser not, I want this to not be an effective experiment, a completely effective experiment. It has to be able to get data, but you need to be able to modify something to make it better. Okay, I'll leave the modification up to you, obviously. Um, but here's the, the crux of the experiment. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be blowing a balloon up using balloon power to see how mass impacts the distance a car travels. Okay, so I'll just re rephrase that. Blowing a balloon up, you know, I haven't really got, haven't really thought how, how I'm going to secure this to my car. Blow up a balloon, add some mass, and see how it goes um, with the mass. So you're going to have to find a way to secure a balloon or some form of transportation. It doesn't have to be a balloon, but obviously balloons are nice and easy. You have to find a way to secure your mousetrap racer to a balloon at least one, maybe two. Here we go. It's your life, what you gonna do? The world is watching you. Whale. It's not just what she's doing, but it's my favourite animal. Okay, so we attach the balloon to our uh, mouse racer. We blow it up to max size, and obviously we don't want this exploding. But what I'm trying to get to the point is that you need to be consistent as you possibly can with this balloon size. Okay, you're going to place it at a start point. And this will, I'll come over here and do this in a second. But we're going to place it at a start start point and release the balloon, so the balloon pushes the car forward. Okay, so you're going to repeat that twice and calculate an average. Step five over here, and this is, I guess, the this is the variable we're changing. We're going to repeat steps two to four, blow to max size, place at the start point, repeat twice. We're going to repeat those steps, adding 50 grams each time until there is no movement. Now I appreciate that at home you haven't got the luxury of the resources I'm about to show you, so I'm just going to lower this down and turn it this way. Hopefully that encompasses what I'm trying to get at. You obviously haven't got the luxury of um, 50 gram weights exactly. Okay, but let's just say this is my start point. There's a few problems with this. Obviously, I will need, um, I'll do it over here instead. I'd place something down at my start point so I knew where it was. Okay, so whether that's an object or a, or a um, piece of tape or something. I'd place that down. I'm just going to blow my balloon up nice and small, okay, because it's probably not going to work. I'd then place my 50 grams, and I've already done one test, I'd place my 50 grams in, and I'd let it go, okay. Now if I'd secure that to my car, obviously my car would go forward. I'd then get a tape measure out and measure the distance that the car has travelled. I'd repeat that, adding 50 grams at a time, until I got to a point where the car wouldn't move or wouldn't start moving. You might want to only do five, five or six different weights, that's fine. Do you need to know the exact weight? It'd be a good idea. What are some ways that you could stack your mousetrap racer with weight so that it, um, you are able to record it? Because like I said, you haven't got these nice, neat 50 gram masses at home. Well, food containers or food packets are a great way of identifying mass. Now, you don't need to go up in 50 gram inter intervals. If you haven't got 50 grams, on offer, you can go up in, in different intervals, it doesn't bother me, but I want you to go up in some mass interval so that you've got a way of assessing how your mass trap racer, the distance changes with mass. Are we clear? So I'll just give you a run through of what you're trying to do. 
and I'll give you an approximation of the method we're looking for. So the method is you're going to attach a mousetrap racer to a balloon. That's up to you how you do it. You can use blue tape, you can use whatever you like. You can attach it anywhere on the mousetrap racer. It does not bother me. But you need to make sure it's in a consistent spot. You're going to blow it to a size, max size. You might want to um, put a, a mark on there or you might want to make, make some points so you know what the max size is, whatever that size may be. You're going to place your vehicle at the starting point, let it go, record how far it travels. Okay. You're going to do that twice and then calculate an average. You need to do that twice so we can talk about some uncertainty calculations, but we'll come back to that later. And then you're going to repeat that process, adding weight. And you're going to try and see a relationship between mass and distance, because that's what we're really looking for here. It's all about the relationship between mass and distance. I hope this helps. Good luck.